What's up, y'all? Cutting is probably one of the most important things in Ultimate Frisbee besides catching and throwing. Now, I have made some videos about cutting in the past, but never about jump cuts specifically. Easily explained, a jump cut is a cut which you make a little hop, or it can be a big hop, as you wish, and then you plant one foot and you push off to the side. So a bit like this, and then to the side. But of course, a lot more explosive. There are some people really well known for this skill and that do it really good, like Jack Williams, Calvin Stoughton, and a lot more people, but these in particular. Now for this training, make sure you're well warmed up and let's get right into it. So, first of all, I start by doing very, very small jump cuts. I do three each side and that's one set. The first set I'm gonna do at 50%, the second one 75, the last one 100% intensity. You're gonna run very slowly. You'll jump off of the foot, in this example, the left foot, and then plant with left as well and go to the right and do the same as well with the right one. Let's go. Now, a little more intensity. Okay, last one. It's gonna be 100% intensity on the push-off. I think you now you can understand why you have to be really warmed up for this exercise. Okay, for the next exercise, you're gonna stand on one leg. In my case, it's gonna be the left leg. And you're slowly gonna fall to the right side, like this. And the moment you feel like you have to plant your foot, because otherwise you're gonna fall, you plant it as hard as possible, and you go to the other side. Just one step. It's this leg, the leg that you plant, that's the focus point for this exercise. So try to make it very explosive, very stiff, so don't go through your leg or anything. Just stiff and push off. Just do a couple each side. Now don't worry, this is not a jump cut. This is the preparation for it. So what we're really focusing on is when you do the jump, the push off with your leg, that's the most important part. If you have a really hard push off, you can create separation with your defender and that's gonna be beneficial, of course. Let's do a couple more. Okay, for the next drill, you're gonna be on one knee and the other foot normal. You're gonna lift up your foot about 10 centimeters and then you're gonna push off to the side and explode over there. The goal is to push off and stand like this, stable. Now there's two main focus points in this exercise. First one being distance, so as far as possible to the side. And then the second one is height. Now this is a little less specifically for jump cuts, but this is gonna help with your overall cutting power and your overall explosiveness in your cutting leg. It's pretty good to integrate it in your workout as well. So I'm gonna do two each side for two sets in total. Other side. I got some questions from people asking where I'm at for the moment. For the moment I'm in Boston, in Portland, Maine, together with some of the team to prepare for nationals. And after that, I'll be home for the winter. Second set. That was not very stable. That was better. Okay, next it's time for the real jump cuts. So what I'm gonna be doing is, first four reps, I'm gonna jog slowly and then go into a jump cut to the side, two times each side, and I'm gonna perform them at 100% full power. So one thing that's important for me when you do a jump cut is, let's say I'm jumping on left and I'm gonna push off left as well, and go to that side, you never wanna make it too obvious. You can also do like this, 
that's also, I think, technically a jump cut, but nobody's gonna fall for that. So what you do is you jump and then you put your shoulders and your arms in the direction of that side and then you push off left and you go to the other side. So basically your upper body is telling your defender, look, I'm going this way, but you plant so hard with your leg, this, your shoulders, your upper body and your arms to that way, don't even matter because you're gonna plant hard and push to the other side and then your upper body will follow. So basically you're twisting your core a bit to go upper body left and then you go to the other side. Now next, I'm gonna be doing the same two times each side, but from a standstill position. Because this is something that's used very often, let's say in a handler position, when the person with the disc looks at the handler and tries to activate them, you'll see it a lot in games that the handler who's initiated stands still and then makes a move like this. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Now we've done standstill, now we've done with a light jog. Next is gonna be with a, a lot faster jog, almost like a sprint actually. And then we're gonna be doing a jump cut as well. Now I have to say, I don't see this very often in games and to my opinion, it's a little less useful. I think it's an underrated skill and you might need it one day, so let's do it. And then the last exercise I'm gonna be doing for today. It's only four reps, so don't worry, because we've done a lot of explosive work on the legs. We're gonna, again, do it from like a, a light jog. And instead of jumping up on the right leg, pushing off of the right leg, and then going in that direction, we're gonna do a double jump cut. So basically, you do a jump cut, you go to the side, and then when you put this leg, you do another jump cut. So you jump up and you go back to the other side. We're gonna do four in total, two to the right, two to the left. Last one of the day and it's getting sunny. Ah, now I will tell you, if you do all these exercises and you do all the sets and the reps that I did as well, your legs will be very tired. So give it a try, let me know what you think. Thank you all for following along and for the support and uh, have a blessed day. See you all in the next one.